Hello and welcome, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Sandy Cruz and I create videos and digital products, all things I, and that is anything that you can do on your iPad that you used to do on paper. If that sounds fascinating to you, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so that you'll be notified every time I have something new to show you. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add kits to your keynote and keeping them all grouped together. I'm also going to teach you how to make this really cute folder. That way you can organize all your elements and your stickers and your papers and your doodads in folders inside one presentation. So just to give you an example, I have just started importing this kit from Robin Sampson. It's uh, her missions error era kit that comes with her course or you can purchase it separately and I will have that linked below for you in case you want to go look at it and see all the neat things that come with it. Okay so the way I'm doing this is I'm making folders and I'm putting everything inside the folders inside my presentation and keynote and if I twirl down here you can see all the things that are in this folder and this folder has my dex cards in it and so what I'm going to do is we're going to make another folder and we're going to make a folder for um, the florals that come with this kit because the florals are really cool and so I'm going to make another folder I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to show you how to really quickly get all of those flowers inside that folder Okay, so to do that, let's see, I need to go to my Dropbox because I'm going to show you how to set up this folder in Keynote as well. Okay, so in your, in the folders kit, it comes with like 66 folders and I'll just flip through a few of them. And these are just a few of them. Like I said, there's 66 of them. And these are all PDFs and you can bring them into your GoodNotes or you can use them inside your Keynote. You can use these folders if you don't want to make your own. But I want my folder to match the uh, kit that I got from Robin Sampson. So let me just go back one and inside the key folder is the Keynote file. So I'll tap on it. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on these three dots. Okay, so I've hit the three dots. I'm going to hit export. And now I want to open in. And I'm going to open in Keynote. And here you can see is my Keynote icon. And what I'm going to do with this file is I'm going to tap kind of out here in space. Whoops, I needed to hit edit first. I'm going to tap out here and what I want to do is select all. I want to make sure that everything that's included is selected and I'm going to copy and then I'm going to go back to the presentation that I started my collection in. And what I want to do is I want to add another slide and I'm going to paste that into a slide. And I want to make sure that this is all grouped because I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to select all and group it. And then I'm going to take my two fingers, my two fingers, and I just kind of twisted to group this. And I can go ahead and leave it grouped. I can still set this up and decorate it even though it's grouped. And I'm sorry, I'm not making eye contact with you because I'm looking at my, my iPad screen. Okay, so this is how the folder comes. But of course, you know everything in Keynote. All the eye design shapes that you can get in my shop are just tap and fill. So I'm going to just double tap this first square right here. And I'm going to go to the paintbrush. And I want to add a drop shadow 
and by default it's going to be this first one and that one's fine with me that one's perfect because it just gives it just enough enough depth for me and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the one in the back I'm just going to turn on the drop shadow and leave it at the default and now I want to get my drop box up on the side so that I can access the pretty pretty things all the pretty things that are in the kit all right so now I need to navigate back to all those goodies yes I do have a lot of stuff in my Dropbox I know there we go and now all I have to do is find Robin's folder I passed it 12 Bible eras and then the missions error and that is actually the 12th course the 12th uh, era so I just fell in love with the kit I just had to play with it even though I'm not on the 12th era in the study okay so I want to tap on the digital folder and I'm going to go to the papers because I want to fill these shapes with a pretty paper so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double tap and then I'm going to press hold and drag that pretty paper into the square Ooh, that's pretty doesn't that look pretty okay now let me double tap the other one and I'm gonna want something let's see what I could do that Will be almost a solid that'll work that looks really pretty I'm going to double tap that because I want to make it bigger and maybe move it around a little bit All right, that looks good because I'm also going to use text to put on the label to tell me what's in this folder. So to do that, I'm going to go to my text that I've already made and I'm going to copy it and paste it. And I think what I'm going to be adding to this folder Oh, oh yeah the flowers so I'll go ahead and just name that flowers and I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I want to make sure that's centered there we go perfect okay so now I want to add everything to this folder that is in the flower folder we find that folder there we go flowers and wait till you see how easy this is so first I'm going to add some blank canvases and I want to group them and I want to nest them underneath the folder so that I can twirl them up you see how that twirls up all right so on this first one I want to put the cover sheet so that at a glance I can see what's in this folder so I'll tap hold and drag that onto my canvas all right that looks good and now all I have to do is get a new canvas tap hold and drag for my element to fill my canvas and of course I'm going to need a whole bunch more blanks and I'm not going to do all of them because that I don't want to keep you all day on this video but as you can see I'm having too much fun with these isn't that yummy look at how pretty that is like I said I'm going to be sure and link this kit 
in the description if you want to go and look at it. Now this one, I want them in order. So there. All right, so the next one is this one. I mean, I'm already in my mind thinking of all the neat things that I'm going to make and all the stickers that I'm going to make with these for my Bible journal. All right, I'm just going to do a couple more just so that you get the hang of it. And I'm sorry, I'm not looking up. I'm looking down at, at my iPad. I need one of those arms for my iPad so that I could be right here doing it. All right, let's do one more. Oh, that one's so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. I'm trying to center it. I've got my center guides on so that it'll automatically center because I can see the yellow lines down the middle and across. All right, so let me just show you the rest of these flowers. I'll just flip through them real quick so that you can see them. There's so many. Oh, they're so beautiful. All right, guys. And that is all that I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're still here, would you consider giving this video a thumbs up? And I will see you again in the next video. Bye.